morning everyone. We are at KS Sumal unit, which is um, the Goldsack commercial Goldsack. We are here with Mr. Trevor Bernard this morning, president of the Sumal Ruminants Association of Jamaica. Mr. Bernard. Yes, morning, morning. So we are here today with, I guess everybody here is students. Or not everybody. You're not students. I'm a worker. Okay, you are a worker. So these are some of the young, what is your name? You have a talk, so we load. Katrine Harrison. Katrine Harrison. And you are? Oh, you are a student too. Come again. I'm Kayla Karma. Kayla Karma. And we're more than Good. So we come to tour the, the goat unit today. I have a look at the facility and look at some of the animals here. And, and I guess all of you are going to show us and, and be a part of the demonstrations or whatever you have to show me today. So here they have a goat house. How, how big is this goat house? Look like about, about 80 feet? Yeah, about 80 by about 35. 80 by 35. Nice house. Well built. Um, one of the things I can talk about immediately is that the slatted floor is kind of too wide. Yeah, you can see that the young kids probably going to get stuck in the floor all the time here. So, um, so my time also the adults. Yes, even the adults because the floor is too wide. Um, so let us have a look at some of the animals here. To do the fencing around the, the establishment as you can use, look they use pallet to do the partitions inside the pen. And when we look inside the pen, we can see they have the, the mineral the mineral trough, they have automatic water feeders. They have um, crops on either side of the um, of the pen, and they have some birds inside here eating some of the feeding here to today. Look at those birds over there. So who built this pen? It built such a bad. Well, um, I guess I guess who was constructing you never know. Never know about the These are some of the young people. So any of your buckle feeding in your days? Nice. Yeah, one of them one of them is a buckle feeding baby. So what you what you doing? Like one of we need, we need. This, this is this is Ashley Ashley Park. She she's the one who did the DNA. You are one of the DNA. So this is a Nipubasa one. Loves the Nipubasa. What do you like about this? Well, so I like everything. So I like everything about it. But um, I really like to inject them. I like to give them the injection. So you like the veterinary yeah. inside of yes, it. Sir. Okay, which kid which inside here is your special kid? Yes. 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 I'm in court, I'm in a court pen. So these are some mixed, mixed boar and um, well, some of them is purebred boar and some purebred medium and also some graded animals. This is um, actually the CIE thing, so the man cannot like um, a world program. So they are doing some intensive feeding program on these animals. And what kind of weight gain are they doing now? I think you have them in here three weeks now. Yeah, um, when we when we in our kind of like 30, 20 something, and we are average like 15 pounds in three weeks, so that's about five pounds a week. So they're putting on about five pounds a week on a special feed. What kind of diet you have them on? But not really, not really African star and the hay and we use concentrate. So you use African star, hay and concentrate. We give them like forage. All different kind forage of forage, like yeah. bush forage and so forth. Yes, sir. Okay, like what? Mulberry, tricanteria. Um, chumpet. Lucina. Chumpet, Lucina, tricanteria and so forth. Okay. Yes, they look nice. You're having good growth rate from them. So you're having good growth, the same kind of growth rate from the, the boar in comparison to the Nubian and the graded. Is the growth rate are, similar? One point is the same range. In the same range as the growth. Yes, sir. Right, very nice. Ashley? Ashley? 
<laughs> you don't de-hand these. They got too big. So let me ask you something, Ashley. At this stage, when the hand reach this stage, how you de-hand them? Don't reach that part. Don't reach that stage yet. I'm here now in the, in one of the goat tents with Mr. Stone. And I'm told that he's an expert on pigs. He knows everything there is about pigs. And he also told me that you were the number one farmer, I think, in 2019. What was the word you used? Uh, it's um, youth in agriculture. Youth um, in agriculture um, in um, 2019, 2019, 2020. And what is your position here at the facility now? I am a farm supervisor. You are the farm supervisor. Are you a student here still? No, I'm not. You are now employed to case yes. as a farm supervisor. Well, so you are in charge of what? Livestock? No, I'm just in charge of the small stock and the dairy unit. So small ruminants? Yes. And also the yeah. the um the dairy. Yes. Okay. Is it the dairy small animals or the entire dairy? The entire dairy. Both the beef and the um both the, the beef and the cattle. Yes. Okay. So tell me something about well they tell me that you are an expert on the, the piggery, that you know everything there is in piggery. Would you agree with that and what you think well, about your um, skill sets? Well it depends on the on the on the on the expectations, but I will definitely I would agree to it to some extent, but at the same time, you know, there's much more to be to, to learn. Okay. At the same time. So what I want you to learn is the small romance because this is the future. Well, because I like to tell people that we only produce 90 90 percent of the small ruminant sector we import 90 percent of the feed that we use in the small ruminant sector we are only producing 10 percent we're only producing 10 percent of the meat um, in jamaica and then up on the other side is the deer goat which is something that i'm in favor of so you see yourself going in this direction well most definitely so as you know, this was my my actual interest area, mm -hmm. but um, I guess the, the the potential was seen from a different angle. So my superiors they decided to place me here, and then again I don't have a problem with it because the diversity of the of the knowledge, and then I get to learn different area, different um experience. So so far it's been really great. Okay. Um, every day is a different um learning opportunity, a different learning experience, and so far I can commend myself along with support that I've been getting along the way. You know, um, to to credit or to commend the, the the work that I've put in so far. All right. So right here now, we are here with the entire goat unit. All of you guys just deal with the goat and sheep, right? Or is just the goat alone? Goat and sheep. So this is the unit that deals with all the goat and sheep, and they are all training on the they call it small stock, the small ruminants sector. They are all training here, and he is the Mr. Stone is the lead person in the small stock. One of the students that are here now is Mr. Brown. You know, he used to work with me a long, long time ago. And, you know, he was well trained and understand this industry and he's now trying to get his paperwork, to, to get his credit. And we wish him all the success in, in, in his future adventure. Advent here, man. <laughs> we wish him. <laughs> so we wish him all the best in his future endeavors. And he has these, Lovely young ladies here with me and this gentleman learning this thing and they will be our future 